to avoid this kind of performance-based misunderstanding, hoping that by specifying the gospel, we're pointing people not just to the per person of Jesus, but the grace that comes from the work of Jesus on the cross. But being gospel-centered is equally open to misunderstanding or misuse. Perhaps the most common one I encounter is to think that being gospel-centered, we're talking about being evangelism-centered. In this sense, a gospel-centered church is all about and only about outreach. This is not what most mean by the term and comes from misunderstanding similar to the one that fuels performance-based Christianity. The mistaken notion is just for non-Christians. Another live threat is the temptation for those who regularly use the term gospel-centered to let it become a mere trend or even a code word for a narrow brand of evangelism, wherein by gospel-centered we really mean reformed. Reformed mean reformed complementarians, the kind of folks who hang out at conferences like the Gospel Coalition or Together for the Gospel. Now I fit squarely in that that camp. I hold both those doctrines with strong conviction. All right. And I've thoroughly enjoyed both of these conferences. Moreover, many in this camp have done a lot of the recent spade work to help people reappropriate the gospel for all of life, not just for getting in the door. But to use the phrase gospel center to refer to this camp is to co-opt the word gospel. The gospel is news about Jesus, not a label for a select few of his followers. In fact, a few members of this camp have recently expressed this very concern. The short and the long of it. The point of all of this is not to battle over terminology and semantics. Christ and his gospel are not in competition with each other. The point, rather, is to empathize or emphasize clarity. Whatever term one lands on to describe the focus of their church or their ministry needs to be carefully defined and explained. At Westgate Church, westgatechurch.org, we recently revised our vision statement. It reads, our vision is to be a gospel-centered church living each day on mission for Christ. A lot of thoughtful discussion went into the process of drafting the statement and explanation, some of which dealt with whether it should be or whether it should read gospel-centered or Christ-centered. We chose to use gospel-centered, not because we want to be less Christ-centered, but because we felt the phrase was a little more specific than Christ-centered. In particular, we felt gospel-centered told us more about who is at the center of our lives, not just Christ, but God, the Father, who sent his eternal Son, Jesus Christ, and the power of the Holy Spirit, Ephesians 1, verses 3 through 14. We also felt that gospel-centered points us to what God has done and is doing through Christ's life, death, and resurrection for us. God is rescuing people from their sins and restoring them to a right relationship with him and changing their lives to love and serve him. Romans 1 16. Colossians 1 verses 